Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Tipu from here and hope all you are good. So today I come here with you to troubleshoot of SIM 800L. Lots of you are suffer to connection issue with the ESP32 and you cannot connect SIM 800L with the network. You cannot connect the SIM 800L with the internet. Also, you cannot connect successfully uh, with ESP32 to UART communication. So, today I will go through a deep drive of SIM 800L and ESP32 step by step. So, you can understand if you see this video clearly. So, I hope you will understand how SIM 800L uh, work with ESP32 with battery. You can power up this board with battery or you can power up this port with a usb cable so if you look closely very closely you can see sim 800 l has several spin but we need only four pin here the net pin is connected the spring antenna this one and second uh, after the antenna is the vcc so that goes to five volt okay that goes to five volt and third pin is rst reset pin we don't need but if you want to reset your sim 800l module from the esp you can connect the rst pin in any gpio of esp32 and then tx and rx goes to any gpio pin in esp32 that will be our UART communication and final and last one is ground pin okay so this is the basic pin out we need and there are some other pin out here you can see there is some pin out but we actually don't need it the DTR pin to control the sleep mode of yes uh, this sim 800 l and some speaker pin here output when you want to uh, talk or call then this pin will need but in our application this is not necessary we only focus on that okay so this is a circuit this is a basic circuit with sim 800 l and esp32 and there is a sim okay and we need a capacitor i will put the capacitor value in the screen so you can understand this is very very important we need this okay i will show you if you put the capacitor here how it work if we don't put the if we don't want to put the capacitor then what happened okay so this is the complete uh, setup very simple 4 pin 5 volt esp32 5 volt here esp32 ground here and so gpio pin tx is 19 and rx is 18 very simple diagram okay let's power up this sim 800 l Th this time this esp have no code okay this have no code we just give the power you can see when you give the power the sim 800 l uh, led will blink start to blink and notice if the blink behavior is like this that means one second interval it is searching the network okay a cellular network it is searching the cellular network it's not connected yet but you can think the same uh, 800L LED blinking is behavior change. Right now, it's three second interval. You can see very closely, it is now three second interval. So that means our sim 800L successfully connected with the network. Okay, with the network. So uh, you don't need to put any code in ESP32, just a blink code here. But when you give the power, it will start this blinking. Okay. So you can ensure that your sim 800 l is work or not you don't need to put any code here okay so if uh, i remove this capacitor from the sim 800 l let's check what happened now okay i will keep power and again let's check one second interval so it will searching the network okay if I put that way, it will not connect it because SIM 800L is a very power hungry devices. So it is still searching the network. It cannot be connected. You can see it's not connected. It's trying to find a network, but not find one. Okay. But I put the capacitor in the VCC and ground and it's magic.
you can see it's found the network you can see this is the magic okay i i put the power from usb and this c 800 tail got power from this usb 32 power the 5 volt output you can see there is a 5 volt output and the ground output okay you don't need anything so this is the power from usb now let's connect from battery okay here is a trick this is a 718650 battery you can say 18650 battery 3.7 volt battery okay but 3.7 volt battery if i directly connect 3.7 volt battery with this it will not work okay i tested several times it is not work so we need this module this module is a booster okay it boosts 3.7 volt battery to output of 5 volt okay this is the 5 volt output and let's connect the 5 volt output to this breadboard and let's check i just put connection and you can see this is the wet power from battery our sim 800 l is connected successfully you can see so that's the magic so this is a 3.7 if you connect directly 3.7 volt battery with this it will not work okay sometimes work but definitely many of time it's not work so we need a capacitor we need a booster okay and right now i will try some code to communicate with sim 800 l and esp32 okay let's see what happened i remove the battery for now and of course you need to check the sim card this is a micro size sim card and it is connected that way okay this part will be bottom so okay that's the connection very simple sim 800 l and tsp32 i just connect uh, the tx and rx that's okay and now i connect this module with my pc laptop and i open the code and you can see already i described this code in my previous video but this time i just troubleshoot so you need to worry some uh, pin out okay this is the modem tx and rx pin okay tx is connected to 19 sim, sim uh, 800 ltx pin connected to esp32 19 pin and modem rx that means sim 800 l rx pin connected to 18 of sim of esp32 okay that's it and you need to initialize the modem is that way okay serial begin this is the border sometimes you change the border it will not work uh, you should give the sim 800 l border like this and serial to communicate and modem tx modem rx in that way okay exactly that way and you need to initialize the sim 800 l macro like this okay this is the macro and we use here tiny gsm client library this is a very important library and very good library okay you can see this is the library manager and if you type tiny gsm this is the tiny gsm library okay this is the first one so this is and if your modem is not connected then it will print some error okay let's check one by one okay this is the connection for now and i upload this code with this board and let's check what happened okay i just upload this code and right now i will open the serial monitor and press the reset okay it's initialize the modem and you can see we got the modem model sim 800 l sim 800 l and waiting for network okay over voltage power down but you don't need to worry about that because we are using 5 volt output working right this portion uh, we will wait 10 seconds for here 
to connect the network successfully and if the network is connected successfully then it will print the success let's do it and you can see it is success network is connected and print some imei operator and signal this is also important the signal quality is 23 is good you can see the signal should be from 0 to 31 close to 0 it is very good and stable close to 0 okay and far from 0 it will not stable and it won't connect okay so this uh, setup is working okay and right now i will show you some error you can found in your setup okay i just remove the sim card okay and let's see what happened okay it will waiting for network but our sim card is open okay so it will not connect it it will not connect after 10 seconds it will say it's failed okay let's wait for it and you also can think this modem will restart in this setup and uh, when it searching the network this will blink this is start the blink it is still searching the network waiting for network you can think you can say waiting network failed so if your sim 800 tail not connected in the internet you will see this type of message okay i uh, right now i will put back the sim it the sim in the modem and restart again okay you can see it's connected and it's got a signal okay so it's work and let's say you don't have the capacitor so i pull, I pull up the capacitor here and let's twist it okay it's already uh, printed some garbage value because our sim 800 tail uh, is need that power but our esp32 cannot provide it that much power okay so that's why it's already printing this garbage value and uh, hope it will not connect it in the internet or network actually it is trying it is trying to connect it is already trying to connect but it cannot okay it's failed so it cannot connect it with the network okay so we need the capacitor okay you need this capacitor for your project okay so i pull back and i again press the reset button okay you see its network is connected back so this is for today okay so you can see how this sim 800 will react with the power how much power it's given in the data sheet say sim 800 will can pick 2 ampere power when it transmit the data so it is it's a power hungry devices okay so for battery power so for battery you need to use this module okay this is the power booster and also it will charge the sim 800 of the uh, when it is connected and this battery will be charged when you power up this module from this usb okay and you can put this uh, to power up the sim 800 l and in our series we are using this board you can already know this board i just designed this board like that i already put this board layout and the circuit diagram in the first video and this module and this module is same okay so uh, i will i can use the battery from here so i in this series i will is, use this i will use this pcb for this and uh, not the bridge board and it is already same i explain everything everything so this is a very casual discussion how sim 800 l works with esp32 and i go step by step by step so you can understand how the error is occur okay so i hope all the confusion is now gone and uh, you guys can successfully connect the sim 800 l with esp32 and 
I have a separate series of SIM 800L and Arduino series, Arduino module, okay, Arduino maker, Arduino Uno. So that will part will be different, but this is now from uh, SIM 800L and ESP32. And uh, hope uh, next time when you make the circuit, I hope you will be successful, okay. So that's for today. Hope uh, you like it. If you like this series, please subscribe my channel. I will upload every week. Uh, so hope it will uh, very helpful for you. Thank you.